What we're going to do is show you how to uh, switch a square wave TIG 355 from TIG to stick. First thing you need to do to switch this from uh, TIG to stick is take your direct current electrode negative and go over to direct current electrode positive. All these buttons down here are for uh, doing certain operations using TIG welding. So you want to have all of these off, which they're off. You then want to go from remote to panel. That gets rid of your foot pedal. TIG to stick. Turn this off. Um, the stick arc force button over here does actually matter. It, it, the more you turn it up, the more violent the arc is. So usually I keep it around five. If I was doing like a 6010 root pass, I would crank it up to max. If I was doing something where I was maybe thinner material, I would turn it down a little bit. And you turn the machine on. We're going to do 530 second diameter 7018, so we're going to turn this up to right around 150. Right, this down here is your terminals. The left one here is for your ground clamp, and there's a little symbol right here depicting your ground clamp. Over here is a 110 plug for a water cooler for TIG, so you don't care about that. Uh, this terminal here is where you put your electrode lead into. If there's a TIG one on it, which we already took it off, you have to take it off. Don't put both of them on there or when you activate your um, stick, it's gonna turn the TIG torch on too, and you can lose shielding gas and short out on the machine and start a fire. On the machine setup, what we have to do first is hook up uh, your ground clamp. This is your ground clamp, it's pretty basic. Just put it on your, wherever you're gonna do your welding. And you're gonna bring over your, this is your electrode holder. There's little grooves in it, so you put your rod in there, that's bolted in place. So you take your electrode, put it in your clamp like this. And then when you start the arc, you have to do a little scratching motion or a tap. Tap it a little bit, it's like striking a match. That's how you get your arc to start. So we're gonna put the beat down here. your stuff to be. Then when you uh, chip your slag, make sure you have safety glasses on or a quick change helmet that you can see through. 